What's up YouTube, my name's Kenneth, and today I've got another unboxing. I know a lot of people were expecting to see the unboxing of this puzzle, the 3x4x5, but I haven't finished that one yet because I haven't been able to solve it. So as soon as I can solve this, I'll do the unboxing for that one. And then I know a lot of people were also expecting to see what I was going to do with my Land Land 4x4, and that'll be coming up soon. And I got this puzzle, so I want to unbox it and get to it. But the other ones will be coming soon, and I think I'll be doing weekly videos until I get these these ones out of the way. So expect to see another video next week. Now, on to the unboxing. Here we go. And here we go. So it's come with a new bag, and I believe this is the Mefferts new logo. So this did come from the Jade Club, and I believe it's only available on the Jade Club. And this is Oscar's treasure chest, or as he called it, the gift cube. And I gotta say, the gift cube, if you didn't see Oscar's first video of his gift cube, you should go watch it because it is one of my favorite Oscar videos. But here is the Oscar treasure chest, made by Mefferts, mass produced by them, designed by Oscar. And uh, all it is, is a Rubik's Cube. Except for, you can see, uh, they put these kind of jeweled tiles on it, which uh, they actually look okay. I think they look nice. Um, but here's the cool thing about it. Let's see what happens when we solve this treasure chest. So now that it's solved, we can, I believe, open it up. How cool is that? And there's a hidden compartment in the middle. And actually, I gotta say, that hidden compartment is huge. I expected it to be much smaller, but you could actually fit something of, of substantial size in there. And what do we have here? I believe this is a USB thumb drive. So here is the thumb drive. Let me zoom in on that. Let's take a closer look at that. So you can see it says Mefford's 30th anniversary. And how does it open? Oh, there we go. And it says it's four gigabytes. It's kind of loose when it's open. Oh, weird, I've never really seen a USB that looked quite like that. I did read that they preloaded this USB drive with some files, um, but if I recall, they were kind of weird. Uh, I'm gonna have to see what's on here. So that's pretty cool, a tiny little thumb drive. Uh, it is very small and you can put it inside the treasure chest or you put anything in here. That's what we're really interested in. And then this goes back on here. There we go. So that's the treasure chest and let's see how it turns. I'm going to go ahead and scramble it. And it doesn't cut corners very well, but you know, you wouldn't really expect it to, would you? If you're going to have a hollowed out centered, hollowed out Rubik's Cube, you wouldn't expect that to cut corners very well. Did I just solve it by mixing it up? I see, oh my goodness, this never happened. I was mixing it up, and apparently the way I mixed it up, I solved it. I'm going to have to go back and look at all those moves. But I thought I was just giving random moves. Wow, that is weird. That tells you that when you get used to your scrambling, and you, you get used to how you scramble the puzzle, you're not doing that good of a job. Because, uh, as you can see, I went right back to a solved position. It's the first time that's ever happened to me. That is weird. That's why I use scrambling algorithms and competitions because uh, even when you think you're being random, you really are not. It's hard to be random. So here's a detailed close up of the treasure chest. And I think it looks great. I really like this. You know, I've always liked secret compartments, and to know that the only way to get at what's inside here is to solve a Rubik's Cube really appeals to me. I've always actually wanted this. I've thought about making one of these a long time ago, but uh, I don't have the know-how to design it. I'm glad that um, Oscar did make it. So it doesn't turn wonderfully, but it's, you know, it's not too bad for considering that it's hollow in the middle. So as most of you know, I solve a Rubik's Cube 
with a method I learned years and years ago. It's a corners first method that I then transformed into a speed method. And uh, it was good for the times and now uh, the times have changed. And so my speed method, which used to be good, is now very poor. Doesn't uh, match, doesn't, uh, hasn't kept up. So anyway, I'm not much of a speed cuber now, but this isn't much of a speed cube, is it? And I, it is very difficult to cut corners because it just doesn't. So it's got a weird feeling. Once you get it lined up, it moves okay, but it's kind of hard to get it to line up just how you want it. And there we go, solved. So you open it up and you can pull out what's inside. So if you were to get one, or if you are going to get one, I've got a question. What are you gonna put inside? Let me know in the comments below. So let's do a quick size comparison. Here is Oscar's treasure chest. And next to it, we have a standard Rubik's Cube. This is a Rubik's brand Rubik's Cube. And yeah, so you can see they are pretty close, pretty similar to the same size, but the treasure chest is a little larger than the Rubik's Cube. So I'm, uh, I'm very happy with the treasure chest. I think uh, I, I love Oscar's design. You really do need to see his video when he first uh, presented it. It really shows a bit of Oscar's personality and it cracked me up the first time I saw it. I instantly knew that was a puzzle I wanted. And when I heard that it was available for uh, J Club members, I was very happy that I could go and get one. So I'm very happy to have this puzzle. So that's pretty much it. I uh, just want to do a quick unboxing of Oscar's treasure chest. Thanks guys for watching. I do come out with videos every other weekend, but because I do have a bunch of videos lined up, I will be doing weekly videos for a temporary amount of time, and I'll let you know how that goes. So thanks guys, and of course, have a great day. Here's what's going into mine.